y'all welcome back to my channel it's nicole so in today's video as you can tell we are in the kitchen we are going to be decorating my kitchen just in general yes we're going to add some kind of summertime colors and carry on the green theme that we have going on throughout the rest of the house but I really haven't decorated my kitchen since Christmas time, so it is way overdue. And I am excited to bring you guys along with everything that we do today. If you wanna see everything, go ahead and keep watching. All right, y'all, so the first thing that I wanna start by doing is adding some up lights to the top of my kitchen cabinets. If y'all saw my video, I think it was last year that I posted it where I decorated the top of my kitchen cabinets. I don't know if I shared in that video that all I had last year was some fairy lights up there to kind of light up the top of the cabinets and all the decor that I had up there. But this year the fairy lights didn't want to work anymore. So I kind of upgraded and decided to do something a little bit different. So we're going to be adding these lights right here. These are 18 inch LED under cabinet lights. So yes, they're made for under the cabinets, but we're gonna use them above the cabinets. I already tried a couple of these on the middle and the two side cabinets right here, and it looked really beautiful. So I'm excited to use these. These are really cool because they are plug-in. So I do have a plug that my microwave plugs into, and that is what we will be plugging one of them into, and then they all attach to each other from there. So I'm really excited to use these and then to decorate the top of the kitchen cabinets, and we will also be decorating the kitchen countertops. So let's start out by adding these first. All right, y'all. Well, that was a workout. <laughs> that ended up being a little bit more difficult than I thought it was gonna be, only because I had to make holes in the cabinets. That way I could like string the lights through. That way you wouldn't see the cords and things like that. But it's done and I love how it looks. I cannot wait to show you guys what it looks like when it's a little bit darker, but y'all, I'm sure you can tell there's probably like a good before and after when I, before I started. And then now that it's done, it looks so good. Y'all, I am so happy with these and it's so awesome that they're just plug in. So it's just like plug in and go. You don't have to worry about any kind of hard wiring and you know, you always need beautiful ambient lighting at night. This is just going to look so cozy. And then when we add some decor up there, I cannot wait. But the other thing is y'all, this made a mess. <laughs> and I know I should have known that drilling into the cabinets, their part of them are particle board, like the top part of them is particle board. And y'all, it made a mess. Particle board went everywhere. I don't know if you can tell in the footage that I took, but it made a mess. And I already have all of my decor out cause I was ready to go after this. So now I have to clean up all of my decor and clean all of the counters off and probably clean all of the decor off so i'm gonna do that i may do a time lapse of me doing that we will see and then we can get to the fun part of decorating my kitchen all right y'all so now that the lights are up and the kitchen is clean I feel so good that I decided it is time for a little coffee break. And meanwhile, I do wanna share with you all kind of what I've been trying to do that's a little bit different than what I used to do when I would decorate. So I've decided now when I decorate that I wanna do things really slowly and really intentionally. I don't want to just decorate to decorate. I want it to be special and I want it to be unique. And that kind of I've always had in mind when I decorate is I want it to be really unique, but I wanna take my time with it as in I don't want to just kind of throw things together and get a video out for you all. I wanna share how important it is to kind of slow down in life and enjoy the moment. So like enjoy decorating, be slow paced about it. Even if it takes you a little bit longer than you wanted it to, that's okay. It's all about joy in the journey. So in sharing all of that, I wanna share with you all what I decided to do for the kitchen to make it a little bit special, a little bit different, and to kind of take my time with decorating it. I've been thinking about how I wanted to decorate the kitchen for about three or four weeks already, so it's been a little while. I knew I wanted to decorate on top of my kitchen cabinets, and I wanted it to be different than it was last year. I did post 
my video of how I decorated my kitchen cabinets last year and they looked beautiful y'all I loved it I had a bunch of decor up there and I really love how it turned out however this year I wanted to go a little bit more simple with it so I've been brainstorming for a long time and I kind of have come up with an idea and in that idea I found that I wanted to add some really unique art pieces on either side of my range and those unique art pieces I wanted to be my own art pieces so I always wanted to learn how to paint how to specifically watercolor paint so I decided to kind of teach myself and I painted a couple of little herb plants in terracotta planters and I think they'll look really pretty on top of the kitchen cabinets so I will share with you all some video footage of me painting these herbs because it was so much fun to do y'all and it's just really relaxing to paint I absolutely love it now so don't judge me too hard because I'm total beginner but I really like how they turned out so I will share with you all the footage and then after that, I will show you guys how we're gonna kind of frame them and how we're gonna get them on top of the kitchen cabinets. y'all so this is the frame that i want to use for my watercolor art that i just did this frame came from hobby lobby it was completely white i went ahead and stained the border of it and i really like how it turned out so to hang the piece of art from this i am going to be using these little alligator clips that also came from hobby lobby so what i'm thinking is i'm going to add one to either side and then we can hang our art just like that and i think it'll look really pretty and the whole goal of this is that seasonally I can paint something new and change it out throughout the seasons. I feel like that'll be a really fun way to kind of change up my decor and to keep it fresh for myself and just have fun with it. So let's go ahead and add these. And I'm just gonna add them with some hot glue. Here is how our little paintings turned out. I absolutely love how they look with the little alligator clips on them. I think they look really pretty. So this is our basil, of course, and then the other side of the range, I will be adding this one, which is supposed to be some thyme. So we will be putting those two on either side of the range. I'll show you guys in a second. And then on the range itself, I will be adding this beautiful wreath right here. This wreath came from Amazon and y'all, it was only like $12, super beautiful. I will link it down below if y'all are interested, but keep in mind if you do buy it, it comes kind of squished all together and you kind of have to fluff it yourself. And once you do, it is a very beautiful wreath y'all. So to hang this on my range, I just have a tiny little nail that I put up there and I will just be hanging the wreath from that. So let's go ahead and add all of this decor up there. So up next, I will be doing this cabinet on top of the fridge, and then I'm gonna do the last cabinet that I have over on this side over here. And I'm gonna do those two cabinets the exact same, and they're gonna be really simple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a tobacco basket, this one right here. This came from Hobby Lobby. Y'all, it's in their spring shop, and they have 50% off the spring shop right now. This is $24.99 then you get 50% off of it, so a really good deal. So I grabbed two of these. We will put one up here, like I said, and then one on that cabinet over there. It'll be kind of like the backdrop, so it's gonna be sitting like this, by the way. 
And then in front of that, I want to add this picture right here. So I have two of these pictures. One will go here and one will go over there. This picture came from Michael's. Uh, it was in their spring shop. I think that's what they called it or maybe summer shop. I'm not sure. So I don't know if they still have these. If they do, they're on a super good sale right now. So if you want one for yourself, go and check out your Michael's. And to this, I will be adding some little greenery. This greenery came from Hobby Lobby, $7.99, but pick it up, of course, when it's 50% off and then you'll get yourself a good deal. So I'm just gonna add it to the picture just like this. And like I said, we're gonna do this one and that cabinet over there. So now the next cabinet that I'm gonna do is the one closest to this end cabinet on this side. And there what I wanna add is gonna be a set of some cookie jars that I picked up at Savers a while back. I shared them with you all in a haul. These are them right here, super beautiful little cookie jars. I have a set of four, so I'm gonna add all four to the cabinet next to this end one over here. All right, so now for the last top of the kitchen cabinet, I want to do something a little bit different. So I'm gonna start with this wire basket right here. I am gonna have it open like this. So the first thing I'm gonna add to the basket is gonna be this wood cutting board right here that came from Hobby Lobby. Another item from the spring shop, so it is 50% off right now. And this one was $14.99 originally. Next, I'm gonna be adding this beautiful piece of tile artwork to our basket. This came from Savers. And then I'm gonna add another small cutting board that came from Hobby Lobby. This one was only $9.99. So of course you get 50% off of that because it's in the spring shop. And that's gonna be it for this basket, y'all. Let's go ahead and add it to the top of the cabinet. All right, y'all, so that was it for the top of the kitchen cabinets, and I absolutely love how they turned out. That uplighting made such a difference. The decor just looks so beautiful up there, and the whole kitchen just looks so much brighter. I absolutely love it. So now we can move on to decorating the countertops, and then I have a shelf over here with some hooks that we will also decorate. So y'all, I don't know what it is about this house, but they did add some hardwired puck lights underneath each cabinet. They did not add anything under this cabinet right here, and I don't know why. I used to have a little battery operated puck light, but it just ran through batteries and it wasn't ever very bright. So I decided to take it down. And now we're gonna do something different in this area, but we will be adding some lighting because this corner gets very dark at night. So. Let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna add is gonna be this wood cutting board. I'm gonna be adding this Kirkland's lamp right here, a little black candle holder that came from Dollar Tree. On top of that, I'm gonna add this cute little copper pot that I picked up at Savers. And inside that copper pot, I'm just gonna add this greenery right here. You won't be able to see this bottom part once it's in the pot. Now to the middle of the cutting board, I'm gonna be adding this piece of art that came from Kirkland's. And last but not least on the cutting board, I'm gonna be adding this cute little chicken that I picked up last year at Tuesday morning. It has crazy little feet that hang. So it looks really cute on top of a shelf. I had it on the shelf I have in my kitchen last year, but I wanna kind of move him around. So he's gonna be right here and that's gonna be it for this corner. So now we're in another corner of my kitchen. This one, does have a hardwired light, but it doesn't work. So I had put this little battery operated puck light in front of it and it's out of batteries. So y'all, I'm kind of done. I give up on that. I don't know if eventually we'll just add our own lighting to these cabinets. It'll just depend on how long we end up staying in this house. But for now, it's just gonna be kind of another dark corner. And I'm just gonna be okay with that for now because I'm tired of worrying about if the puck lights that are hardwired are gonna work or not because I have two other ones that some days work and some days don't. So the first thing I wanna start with is gonna be this wooden serving tray right here. This came from Hobby Lobby. So now to the top of that serving tray, I will be adding this white container right here with all of my wooden spoons. And near the white container, I'm gonna be adding a little candle holder 
This one, I'm not sure where it came from. I think it came from Hobby Lobby. Then I'm gonna be adding this cute little plant right here with kind of like a rock looking pot. I really like that texture. We're gonna put it right there. And then I'm gonna be adding our olive oil. So now I'm just gonna turn this actually so that it's flat against the wall like that. And now I'm gonna add a little candle right here to the side. And lastly, I will add our salt and pepper shakers. And then to the side right over here, I always like to have our napkins right here. And that will be it for this little area right here near the stove. So now the last place I wanna decorate is gonna be in front of this outlet over here. So here, the first thing I'm gonna start with is gonna be our bread box. This came from Michael's a while back. We actually do keep our bread in there. I really like it, it's super cute, looks really vintage. Then next to the bread box, I'm gonna be adding this wood server right here. This came from Hobby Lobby. Now to decorate the top of the wood server, I'm gonna be using another one of our beautiful tile art pieces. I'm just gonna hold that up with a plate holder. Now next to the tile art, I am gonna be adding a white pitcher. And to that white pitcher, I'm gonna be adding some greenery that came from Hobby Lobby. The pitcher is from Hobby Lobby as well. And y'all, this isn't stuff that I literally went out and bought all in one trip. This is stuff that I've had for a while and a couple of new things here and there. But almost everything that I'm decorating with today I already had, besides the two tobacco baskets that I showed you all on top of the cabinets, everything else I've already had. So the name of the game is always use what you have before you go buy new stuff, of course. Next, I'm gonna be adding this super cute little pig that's wearing little rain boots. He also came from Hobby Lobby a while back. And lastly, just because I really, really love this little cream pitcher, I guess you would call it, I am gonna add him right here. So this little cream pitcher came from Savers a while back and I actually have never been able to decorate with it because I didn't really have anywhere for it. So I really like how it looks here. Super, super cute little pitcher. And yeah, y'all, that will be it for this area. Let's move on to our shelf and our hooks. All right, y'all. So here is our shelf in the kitchen with these hooks. This is always really fun to decorate but ignore the fact that we are missing a hook right here. I did not notice that it was missing a hook when I picked this up from Burlington last year. It works out anyways because the light switch is right here, so it's better to not hang anything there anyways. So the first thing we're gonna start with on top of the shelf is gonna be this book holder cutting board. This came from Hobby Lobby. This is gonna go right in the middle of the shelf. Now to that, book holder cutting board. I am gonna be adding this, I think it's a spoon rest. This came from Goodwill. It's super cute. I don't know if it's vintage, but I really love it. So we're gonna add this to our book holder. Now next to that, I am gonna be adding this beautiful utensil holder right here. This came from Tuesday morning and y'all, I absolutely love how organic it looks. The lines are not straight on it. And if y'all know me, y'all know that I love organic things. I'm not a person that loves perfect things. I love when things look handmade. So I was really excited to find this at Tuesday morning. So this is gonna be added to this corner over here. Now inside of that utensil holder, I will be adding this greenery right here. As you can tell, I took this out of another little pot that it was in. I really like this greenery. I'm gonna kind of stretch it out a little bit and then add it to our utensil holder. Now on the other side of our book holder, I am gonna be adding this vase that came from Savers. I shared it with you all in my last thrift haul that I did. I absolutely love the shape of this. So this will be right here on this end. And to that vase, I will be adding this that also came from Savers. Somebody said in my last thrift haul that this is to make Mexican hot chocolate. That is so cool. Thank you for leaving that comment. If you are watching this video, I really appreciate that. And that is really cool to know what this is used for. It's super cool looking. So this will be added to that base as well as just a little rolling pin.
All right, so that's it for the top of the shelf. Now we can move on to the hooks. So the first thing I'm gonna add is gonna be another wood cutting board. This one I picked up last year uh, from Tuesday morning. It was only $12.99. Now next to the cutting board, I'm gonna be adding our little copper scottle that I picked up at an estate sale. I'm just gonna hang it like this. I saw this idea on Pinterest and I absolutely loved it. To our scottle, I will be adding these two little greenery pieces. They're supposed to be, I think, rosemary. They came from Hobby Lobby. These are super cheap, y'all. I think they're 350, and if you get them half off, then of course, they come out to 350 for two of them, which is a really good deal. It's a decent amount of greenery, and they're really pretty looking. So these I'm gonna put inside of the scottle. All right, the next thing I'm going to be adding is this cute sign that came from Hobby Lobby. It says, enjoy the simple things. And last but not least, I am just going to be adding a kitchen towel. This towel is super beautiful, y'all. It came from Hobby Lobby. And that'll be it for our shelves and our hooks here in the kitchen. So let me go ahead and give you guys an overview of everything that we did. Y'all, it looks absolutely beautiful in here. Now keep in mind that when you're ground level, you can't see any of the two by four that you can see under any of the decor right now. I am just using it to add some height to some of the decor pieces, but you cannot tell at all when you're ground level. I am just high up to show you guys kind of a closer look at how everything on top of the kitchen cabinets turned out. y'all so that's gonna be it for today's video I hope that you all enjoyed watching me decorate my kitchen it was so much fun to do I really enjoyed the whole process of it from painting the paintings on top of the kitchen cabinets to each little vignette I absolutely love how everything turned out so I thank you all so much for joining me today and yeah y'all that will be it for this week's video so I will see you guys next week bye y'all <laughs>